What is true happiness, the science behind joy and fulfillment? If happiness was a destination, why do so many people feel lost? For centuries, humans have chased happiness through wealth, success, love, and even social status. But despite having more technology, comfort, and convenience than ever before, depression and anxiety rates are at an all-time high. So what are we missing? Today, we're diving into the science of happiness, what really makes us happy, how our brain processes joy, and how we can cultivate lasting fulfillment in our lives. Happiness isn't just an emotion, it's a complex interplay of biology, psychology and environment. But before we talk about how to be happy, let's define it. Psychologists categorize happiness into two main types. Hedonic happiness. This is pleasure-based happiness. It comes from enjoyable experiences, like eating your favorite food, buying a new gadget or going on vacation. But here's the problem, it fades quickly. This is what scientists call the hedonic treadmill. We get something we want, we feel happy, but soon we return to our normal state and crave something new. Eudaimonic happiness. This is a deeper form of happiness that comes from meaning and purpose. It's not just about feeling good, it's about being good. It's the satisfaction that comes from helping others, personal growth and contributing to something bigger than yourself. Science shows that eudaimonic happiness is what leads to long-term well-being. But if that's the case, why do so many of us focus on short-term pleasure? Happiness isn't just a feeling, it's a chemical process in the brain. Let's break it down. Dopamine, the feel-good chemical. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter responsible for pleasure and reward. It spikes when you accomplish a goal, eat something delicious, or receive social validation. But there's a catch. Dopamine is short-lived. It's why chasing material things or social media likes never truly satisfies us. Serotonin, the well-being chemical. Unlike dopamine, serotonin helps regulate mood and long-term happiness. It's boosted by things like exposure to sunlight, exercise and meaningful connections. Oxytocin, the love hormone. Oxytocin is released when we bond with others, hugging, spending time with loved ones or even acts of kindness. Studies show that strong relationships are one of the biggest predictors of happiness. Endorphins, the painkiller chemical. Endorphins are our natural stress relievers. They are released during exercise, laughter and even deep breathing. So the question is, how can we train our brain to release more of these happiness chemicals naturally? Science has studied happiness for decades and the results are clear. Happiness is not about what we have, it's about how we live. Here are three powerful lessons from research on happiness. Lesson one, relationships matter more than anything else. The longest running study on happiness, the Harvard study of adult development, tracked people for over 80 years. The conclusion, strong relationships, not money or fame, are the biggest predictor of happiness and health. So invest time in family, friendships and community. It will bring you more joy than any material possession. Lesson two, gratitude changes the brain. Studies show that practicing gratitude increases serotonin and reduces stress. People who keep gratitude journals report higher life satisfaction and better mental health. Try writing down three things you're grateful for every day. It rewires your brain for happiness. Lesson three, meaning and purpose bring deep joy. People who have a sense of purpose, whether through work, helping others or creative passions, report higher life satisfaction. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist, wrote that those who have a why to live can bear almost any how. Finding your why can be the key to lasting fulfillment. So how can you apply this to your life today? Here are three simple but powerful actions. One, strengthen your relationships. Call a friend, spend time with family, make time for people who matter. Two, practice daily gratitude. Start a gratitude journal or simply reflect on what you appreciate. Three, do something meaningful. Help someone in need, pursue a passion, or find ways to contribute to something bigger than yourself. Remember, happiness isn't something we chase, it's something we cultivate. Happiness isn't found in things. It's found in connection, gratitude and purpose. And the best part, you already have everything you need to be happy. You just have to nurture it. What makes you truly happy? 
share in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, consider subscribing and joining us for the next episode where we'll explore the power of compassion. Why being kind to others is the secret to a better life. Until next time, take care and stay happy.